favorite linebacking core of all time, the 85 Bears. I think 85 has the best set of linebackers I've ever seen. And I'm talking about Wilbur Marshall, I'm talking about Otis Wilson, Mike Singletary. Those three guys took no prisoners. In Chicago's blitz-happy 46 defense, our number five linebacking core spent most of its time in opposing backfields. Otis and Wilbur were basically uh, blitz guys. Otis was more powerful. Wilbur was very, very explosive. Any one of them could change a ball game. Certainly Wilbur Marshall. Oh, 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 the play, pick up the football. It's picked up by the play by the man. Wilbur was the guy that I would call uh, the assassin. He was nasty, in a bad mood. He didn't like anybody. You know, he played with that right mixture of intelligence and anger. Well, I've seen Wilbur hit some quarterbacks that were just unmerciful. I still see the hit he made on Joe Ferguson from Detroit. I'd never seen like it. I thought he killed him. You know, he knocked Joe into another century. Otis's personality was to seek and destroy. When he looked at the enemy, Otis was going to take him out. Otis was so strong in terms of his upper body strength that you could almost put him down to three point and, uh, and Otis could go make a play. They were so relentless, so ferocious. Man, you're not a quarterback, you're not going to It's just their attitude. But the man in the middle was the Midway's biggest monster. Lift him up! If it's flop over there and Sterling Sharp is on the inside guy, you got to be on it. Hey, baby! We're going to be here all day! Mike was a north-south kind of guy. I like this kind of party! It's a little bit easier to play middle linebacker. Your typical middle linebacker plays from tackle to tackle. Singletary's lane responsibilities were basically guard to guard. Hand off, Dickerson, oh. hit by Singletary. Get it. Singletary got there with a lot of thunder. Hey, man, this young quarterback, man, somebody knock him out for me, will you? The Bears recorded an NFL record 72 sacks in 1984. They set the record for fewest points allowed in 1986. Coach, our lost. Hey! But it's our number five linebacking core's 85 campaign that's etched in history. I'll tell you what, this defense has been incredible. <laughs> to knock your socks off just to watch it. Total decimation to the AFC champion New England Patriots. So why are the Bears only number five on our list? Mike couldn't play coverage. We didn't ask him to play coverage. He knew he couldn't play coverage. Wilbur, again, he wasn't a great man-to-man -man cover, believe me. Miami proved that. Make the turn, The bottom line in anything you do is can you execute? And these people gave us the ability to execute in that defense. Despite their shortcomings, there's only four groups in NFL history higher on our list. 